Nightmare Incursions are the new PvE content that was just added in Phase 3 and are not only the easiest, but the fastest ways to get to max level. I've done them solo and in a group, and in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about how these work and the strategies that my group used to get to over 200,000 XP per hour. So to start with, there are four portals that can take you to these Nightmare Incursions. And they each have their own level bracket and type of mobs in them. You have Duskwood starting at level 25, Ashenvale starting at level 40, and Hinterlands and Feralis both starting at level 50. In order to get started, there will be an NPC that gives a starter quest. This starter quest is to kill some demons outside of the portal and to get a report from a stealth NPC that is hiding around the actual portal. Due to the sheer concentration of mobs and how some of these mobs are ranged, I found this quest to actually be more difficult than the ones inside the actual portal. So once you do that quest and turn it in, you're going to get a mission brief. This is an envelope that gets put in your bag and it contains two items. The first item is an envelope called a mission brief that will give you a random quest to do inside the Emerald Nightmare. The other item is a badge that has four charges, which allows you to share the quest with others in your party. Now, you can't share these quests like you normally do. So in order to actually share these quests, you will need to click on the badge and then click on the player in your group that you want to share it with. Now, each time you turn in one of these quests, you are going to receive another envelope automatically, which does contain another random quest. So you're going to need to make sure that you have plenty of bag space available. Now that you have your quests, you're ready to head into the actual Nightmare Portal. So this is a mirrored version of the area that you're in, and it has different mobs and a variety of different Nightmare creatures. Although it is mirrored, the actual Nightmare is contained to a certain area, and it doesn't expand to the entire zone. So if you hit the edge of the Nightmare, the edge of your screen is actually going to start glowing, and you're going to get a warning that you'll be teleported back to the Nightmare area after about 10 seconds. So there's going to be six different types of quests that you can get. Defeat X number of mobs. Now this can be either regular mobs or elite mobs. Uh, defeat a world boss. Now with this one, as long as your faction actually tags the world boss, you can get kill credit for it. So it doesn't just need to be your group. You have intelligence quests. These are going to be getting information from stealth NPCs around the area. And you just need to talk to them and get the report back. There's going to be escort quests, so you have to escort the NPC back to the actual portal. Now, if you're standing by the portal and you have one of these escort quests in your log and someone else doesn't have to be in your group actually returns that NPC, you'll get actual credit for that as well. So these are super simple. You have gathering quests. Now, these are tied to gathering professions. The good thing is that the needed items can be traded but they do act as conjured items and they will disappear after being logged out, which also means you can't sell them or buy them on the auction house. And then the last type of quest is a recover quest. These are pretty easy. There's some random object in the zone that you're gonna need to get. And it's as simple as clicking on the item to get it as long as you have the required bag space. There's about 18 different types of quests in each of these zones and each zone has three distinct areas. So for example, the Ashenville area has the Dragon area, the Seder area, and the Lumber Mill. So after your first or second run through, you're gonna start seeing a pattern to follow for each of these quests. And for the Ashenville one, it was actually pretty linear through the zones to complete all of the quests and get back to the portal to turn it in. And this is gonna be similar for each of the different um, incursion points. Now, you can do these quests solo, and even the elite mobs aren't that hard to kill. However, I don't recommend it. When I did it solo, it took a little over an hour to get a complete level, which is around 100,000 experience, which puts solo farming on par with questing. This is because not only was I fighting for mob spawns with everybody else, but there was a lot of sitting down and eating to regain my health. The fastest and most efficient way is to have a five-man group. And this is for a few reasons. First is that the quests can be shared. So there's about 18 quests per zone, 
and each party member will get about five random quests. So with five people, you have a higher chance of getting all or at least most of all of the quests each time you turn in. The second is that the mobs will die a whole lot faster and you won't be sitting down eating because you'll usually have a healer in the group. So I found that the best group makeup is four DPS and one healer. However, when I did these, there was only a handful of times I actually needed to be healed. And so I think you can get away with five DPS as long as one of them has off healing. And you don't need a tank because there's nothing to actually tank except for the world boss. And there's usually multiple groups around there killing it. So you can get away without having a tank. Now, there are two strategies that your group can follow. The first strategy is to do all the quests that you have on each run. The effectiveness of this will be determined by how many people are in the zone because you're going to have to fight for mob spawns, which can reduce your XP per hour. Now, if you're doing this strategy, the only gathering quest I would do is the skinning one since it's the easiest. For the other two, you have to go off and find an ore vein or a flower, which is going to take additional time. The second strategy is the one that my group used, which allowed me to get an entire level in 25 minutes. This is to ignore a majority of the kill quests and just focus on the intelligence reports, the recovery quests, and the world boss. You can always work on your kill quests on the way to one of these other ones, but don't make it a priority. And the reason why this is fastest is because you can get from space to space mounted. And it's as easy as clicking the person or object, mounting up, and moving on. This way you don't have to compete with others for mobs or wait around for mob respawns. Doing this method, my group earned over 200,000 XP per hour. Once you hit friendly with the Emerald Wardens, each class is going to get access to a new rune, along with level 20 trinkets and rings, as well as some level 50 gear. Honored unlocks even more gear, and once you hit revered and exalted, you're going to get access to additional gear that cost emerald chips. These chips are rewarded for doing the level 50 Feralis and Hinterlands incursions. And you're going to need anywhere from 50 to 75 of these chips to turn in for gear. The good news is, by the time you get exalted, you should have enough to purchase an item. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the new Nightmare incursions and any strategies you and your groups use to make quick work of these quests.